Yo, YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Kellify, and I'm back again with another setting, sensitivity, and bonds video. I recently did this video back in January, but since then, I've changed some stuff with my sense and my bonds and stuff. So I'm here today to update y'all on everything that's new. Uh, I want to thank y'all boys for all the love y'all been showing on my recent videos, all your likes, your comments, and new subscribers. But if you're new watching this video, make sure you like the video, comment, and you subscribe to the channel with notice. We on the grind of 1K. All my links to my socials will be down in the description below. Make sure you go to follow my Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, all that will be down below. Go follow my Twitch. I'll be popping out streams here and there. So go follow my Twitch with notice so you get a notification when I go live. Also, if you want to support me even more, use my code in the Fortnite item shop when, purchase, when purchasing anything. I would really appreciate it. It resets every two weeks. So make sure you go back in and plug it. Without any further ado, let's get straight into these settings. Hey, before we get into the settings, I'm gonna need y'all boys to subscribe right now. 88% of y'all watching this video right now is not subscribing. That's just completely unacceptable. All right. So if you're watching this video, hit the subscribe button. It's completely free. All right. Hit the subscribe button. I will greatly appreciate it. All right. Now let's get into the settings. Alright, starting out with my video settings. All this stuff is pretty uh generic and stuff like that. I play full screen. I don't play stretch res, I play native. Uh 240. I'm still on 240 hertz with an alien Red monitor. Uh brightness 125. Pro note 7. My colorblind. Uh so since the last video, I've switched to performance mode. I feel like performance mode is pretty good. It lowers your uh input delay and stuff like that. It makes your PC feel run smoothly. But, you know, with the recent update, the storm is kind of buggy, so I hope they fix that. But, uh, view this is on near, uh, text is on low, mesh is on high. Mesh is on high is how you get the bubble builds. So, if you want the bubble builds, make sure the mesh is on high. And, uh, when it's on low, it's the mobile builds. But, performance mode, you can't really change the rest of this stuff. So, like, V-Sync is off. I can't control motion blur, uh, FPS. And, yeah, like, see, so you can't control those kind of stuff. Alright, for my game settings. All this stuff is generic. I really didn't change any of this kind of stuff. My ease, uh, English, all my movement set settings, pretty much the same. Combat, all this stuff is the same. Now on here, they added disable pre-edit. And ever since then, I've been using it. And I love it. Uh, no more pre-edit, so I like it. Um, confirm edit release. I've been using it since it came out too. And I love it. The rest of this stuff is, you know, just rest regular generic stuff. All right, here go my HUD uh, settings. I play 65 HUD skill, and um, that's it for that, really. Keyboard, I don't play keyboard at all, so I wouldn't advise you to take my sense or my keybinds because I don't play keyboard, really, at all. All right, my controller sensitivity. Um, I, I use Auto Run, uh, Builder Pro immediately is on. Edit home time, it says if you like, put it all the way on zero, it lowers your input delay, so that's what I've done. And vibration is off. It's 2021. If you use the vibration, I, I just don't know what to tell you, bro. On my sensitivity, in the last video, it was way higher. I was playing on 2.6 2.6 on um build and edit mode. And since then I've come down to 2.0 on both. For my X and Y, I was like on 46 in the last video, and now I'm down to 41. Uh lowering my sense, I felt like it was uh just better, you know. With everything changing the meta stuff like that, so I feel like lowering my sense was good. Uh, I still play with no boost. All this stuff is still on zero. Instant boosting building is off. ADS. I don't remember what it was in the last video, but um, I think I it, it, I think it, it's lowered, especially with the new season because like the no accuracy on the uh, makeshift and all that. So I'm down to 11. Still with no boost. Everything down to zero. Uh, zero linear. Amos is on 100. Now my dead zone did change. I was playing 10-5. Now I'm down to 9-9. Uh, like I said, I lowered it, kind of making everything so hit the more stiffer pumps, stuff like that. Now that they're back in the game. And also I heard that uh if you use foot controller or cut it on, it lowers controller delay as well. Uh sound settings if you really care. Um yeah. Turned off 3D headphones. I heard something about it like allows you to hear footsteps better or something like that. I really don't know. Really not a biggie for me either. Like I said earlier, my keybinds, anything with keyboard, 
I wouldn't advise it. Um, only thing I really use Tebow for is like push to talk and like it's pretty much it. But here it is if you want it. All right, my controller binds. All right, so looking at my controller, the camera allows you to see it like you know, like like you would be looking at it. So in the last video, I was on R stick jump, but I've changed that to now my left paddle. So now I jump with my left paddle, and my right paddle is switch mode and confirm. So that now puts my R stick to crouch. I still edit with L stick, been using it since day one. I haven't changed that. Um, triangles, pickaxe, squares, interact and reload. And then I have circle bonded to my right paddle for switch mode and confirm, and X bonded to my left for jump. Uh, on build controls, uh, only thing from here really everything's pretty much the same. I still use right D pad to change material. On edits, I change my reset bond from R1 to uh, R stick. Now that I'm on left paddle jump, just something I did. I did this like two weeks ago. Uh, I'm pretty much used to it, you know. With R stick, I mean with reset, it's not a hard bond to learn, but it definitely got take me the time to get used to. If I'm going a little too fast, I might miss a, miss a reset. But everything else is pretty much the same. I select with uh, R2 and confirm with my right paddle. I don't use trigger stoppers anymore. In the last video, I was using trigger stoppers. I don't know. I got a new controller and uh, I tried them and I just I just didn't like it. So I, I stopped using them. But I still use uh, Inferno control feet on my right arm um, stick. Still use that. And like I always say, I use the dual shock back button attachment paddles. Um, if you're non claw, non paddles, like I always say, the best binds to use are touchpad edit, uh, switch mode, switch mode L stick, and R stick jump. You can switch it around however you want, but for like, you know, people ask me, so like that, how can I get unstiff like that? Unstiff, if you're non claw, non paddles. Use these, use that, use those binds. Switch mode on L stick, touchpad edit, and R stick jump. All right, those are the best binds to use if you're non claw non paddles. People also ask me, um, do I uh, play claw with my paddles? No, I play no type of claw at all. But I do know some people who plays claw and use paddles at the same time. So it's all a personal preference and what you're able to do. All right. So, all right. So if you got any questions, comment them down below. Um, if I don't see your question within like a uh, a couple of hours or a day or so, DM me on Twitter. Um, sometimes the comments be getting lost, and I just completely don't see them at all. So hit me up on Twitter. That's the main social to hit me up on. Most the main one I'm most active on. Go drop me a follow on there. All right. But if you have any questions, you can just automatically DM me on Twitter. Uh, don't forget to use my code in the Fortnite item shop. And I thank y'all boys for tuning into this video. I'll see y'all in the next one.